<laughs> he needs to give me some advice and, and, and not charge me so much. The series Jonathan Aguilar of Fifth Pro Boxing fans joined by the juggernaut Joe Joyce. Uh, we're here in London, we're still awaiting the arrival of Derek Chisora. Uh, a bit of mind games, do you think, uh, ahead of your fight on July 27th? Well, uh, I have an inkling on what was going down, but, but, but yeah, uh, yeah, just went for Chisora. Come here, I was like, whoa, there's no Chisora. Like, um, so, yeah, he, he, he's on his, he's on route now, so eagerly awaiting his arrival. It's been a fight that's been sort of talked about since 2018 when you were with uh, David Hay and things like that. Uh, oh, surprised yeah. that it's taken this long for it to happen? Yeah, I, I watched the I watched the replay of it um, just up earlier. It's yeah, very cringeworthy. So uh, <laughs> yeah. How, how do you think both of you have sort of come on since then? Because you know you went to sort of almost the top, and you know he's had a lot of big fights as well. How, how do you sort of compare both your careers since then? Since when? Since, since when, you know, it was oh, right, talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so, see, Chisora has had a lot of fights against a lot of great fighters, and um, I've been um, building my way up through the rankings. I've had some, had some great fights and that. Uh, yeah, he's had, you know, quite a few losses, like back-to-back -back losses. I've had two, and obviously I've had that last one coming back with uh, Ali, so... Um, yeah, I'm ready to go and get in, uh, get in, get in, the, get in stuck in again. So, yeah, who better to get in the fray than with Chisora, War Chisora? Have you done a lot of sparring over the years and do you take much from that and how the fight's going to play out? I haven't actually sparred Chisora. To, I did get an offer when I was amateur in Ellsfield, but then um, didn't, take the, didn't take it, yeah. But, that does surprise me because I know you've sparred pretty much everyone else. Yeah, yeah, it's surprising. But we're going to do it for real in the ring. So obviously against uh, Fury, it didn't seem like he had so much left. Uh, how much do you think he's got left? Well, he's still younger than me, so I, maybe he's got a bit. I don't know, but like you've got to live, uh, live the life and stuff. And he, I think he's, um, you know, he's improved with his uh, his camps and his fitness, and he got his weight right down for Usyk. And I thought, you know, it was a good fight. He did. You know, there were moments where he did well in there and um, it, it was close, uh, apart from obviously him staggering around, uh, trying to stay on his feet. But then other than that, like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the rematch and see what, uh, see if he can up the gears or see, see what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll come on to that. I mean, on that, uh, obviously, you know, you, know, you took a, a quite a significant loss and you've come back. You know, what is... You know, what message would you have for, I guess, Fury in terms of sort of the rebuild? And, you know, I guess you experience it where people, you know, saying this and saying that about you. Yeah. Uh, what maybe advice would you give him? Mate, I can't give Fury any advice. He's freaking been in the... <laughs> he needs to give me some advice and, and and not charge me so much. Talking about sparring? Yeah, yeah, like sparring, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm, you know, I've shared, uh, shared the ring sparring with him and... Been around him and his team and his family, you know, it's good, uh, good people. So, um, you know, hope, hope he comes back and uh, gets him. Well, I mean, he is coming back, man. He's got a. And just. Much, yeah. it's, it's very close. So, you know, you can make it, like, review the footage and make the adjustments and come, like, win next time. What did you make of Usyk in there? Did he exceed your expectations? You obviously shared the ring with him before. What did you make of him? Yeah, I mean, Usyk's. Usyk's a great fighter, footwork, head movement, and that. Um, I was wondering how the fight was gonna. Yeah, it did. It did start off pretty, pretty fast out of the gate. You know, um, the first round and that, and the early rounds that they they went at it. Um, but yeah, I, you know, he did well, and he's the undisputed champion. Some people felt that there was too many sort of voices in the corner, you know, with John Fury and, oh, yeah, and Sugar yeah. Hill and Andy Lee. Yeah. What do you make of that, and how do you like it when you're in the corner? Yeah, I did notice that, and um, but yeah, it's you know, in the corner, you've only got a, a couple of minutes to recover. You're trying to get your breath back, you're breathing right, and um, and you can, you know, the instructions they need to be clear and concise so that you can remember them and take them in for the next round, and, and you know. But then, like, when there's too many voices, like, you can, you know, some things can go through one ear and out the other, like, if there's, you know, too much going on, like, too many voices. So, yeah, I think one voice, maximum two, like, 
but like you know like separately not at the same time because you can't listen to two people at once like that like. and uh, you know Carl Froch felt that you know Fury looked nervous sort of during the week did you sense that or did you see a different Fury during the week well, he's lost his own now, so he's not got that to worry about losing anymore. So he can just come back and uh, and now he's the underdog again. So he can come back and um, yeah, and uh, you know do what he needs to do to to make the changes to to get a better deci the different decision or a different outcome. Do you think he would win a rematch? It's up to him. <laughs> But I'm guessing it's still the ambition for you, you know, beat Derek Chisora, maybe one more, and then you know you're still in that mix of, of all those guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to get back in the mix, and who better to start that off with? I mean, to to get back in there with Chisora, he's a very experienced. Everyone knows him. He's you know brings entertainment to press conferences when he's here, but he's not here yet. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to finally fight him because. Uh, it, like early on in my career I my team were trying to make the fight with him and he wasn't interested and I didn't think he would I didn't think I would fight him but um, it is an option and he went for it so uh, hopefully he shows up do you think you'll stop him on July 27th yeah um, I, I think but yeah I, I think it's a great fight and obviously yeah I'm, I'm excited to to get back in there and uh, he can, you know, he's very durable. He hits hard, and that overhand right, he'll be, he'll be excited watching the Ali fight since I got tagged with it. So, um, you know, I just need to really improve my game, get back in with Salas, and uh, you know, just um, refine my skills a little bit, and uh, obviously follow the game plan, and just listen, uh, just get make the most out of camp, and. Uh, get the best out of it to so I'm, I'm prepared and ready for the for the fight and obviously the next steps uh, just two more uh, next week uh, we've got Wilder against Zhang and Hergovic Dubois what's your predictions for both of those fights uh, Wilder against Zhang mate uh, it's a battle of the, of the big bangs um, I think um, I don't know man because because I, I, I kind of like what's similar, like okay, Wilder against Ortiz. So Ortiz, Southpaw, big hitter. Um, Wilder it was kind of like you know, uh, it wasn't really enga engages with any big shots till um, like the footwork of Ortiz slowed down, and then that's when he, he was able to land that shot. So Sang's feet aren't particularly fast, so but. He's very good, like technically. He's been, you know, um, and hits very fast and hard and accurate. So yeah, it's, um, and Wilder of late, is he, um, you know, is he is he in it? Like I don't know, like have, like we had the uh, ay ayahuasca uh, retreat. Yeah, and I, I wonder if that's helped him or hindered his, his career. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see that fight because obviously when. No, he's he's faster, and he can bat, and he's you know arguably got the best power punch in the game. So yeah, it's very exciting. And um, but then obviously there's a uh, while uh, there's uh, the bar and Hergovic as well fight, which I'm excited to see because he haven't shared the ring with both of them as well. So there's them sparring rumors and stuff. So if that's going to play out in the ring, that's interesting to see. So yeah, I'm I'm going to be tuning in. Joe, uh, best of luck. Uh, you've got July 27th against Derek Chisora live on TNT at the O2. And uh, I'll speak to you soon, mate. Thank you.